I, I, I got a lot, of, a lot of questions like how I play paradiddle so fast. And it's because I break down the exercise. When you are in control with your hands, you can do anything. You know, having a great technique and be in control with your rudiments, uh, it will help you to play freely mm. on the drum set.
And uh, ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to announce my retirement from drumming. <laughs> Seriously. Emmanuel Caplet. The, the, the virtual crowd is going wild. So it's been so long that we've been talking about you coming out to Drumming. I know. It's and been so, a while. Yeah. It's been a while. And I remember like seeing you at Victoria Drum Festival. I saw you at... Uh, I think I saw you at Ralph's Festival yes, one time. Yes, in Quebec, yes. Yeah, you've been all over the place for, for many, many years, and it's like, when are we going to get Emmanuel out to draw you out? It's so, now. It's now. So, <laughs> Yay, I'm so happy to be here. Yeah. yeah. So, Emmanuel, you, you started playing in Bugle Corps at yeah. nine years old. Exactly. Um, you won like multiple awards, uh, something for the drum drumologues. Is that how you say it? Drumalog, yeah. It's been yeah. a while. Yeah, it's, it was my duet. Yeah. <laughs> your duet. yeah, yeah. And then you won the the Quebec Individual Provincial Interpretation Championship four times. Yeah. What, what is that? It's a it's a drum corps uh, okay. contest. Ah, nice. So yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. And you played at like Mont Montreal Canadiens games, which we will not hold it to you being out on this side of Canada. <laughs> Um, at least you didn't wear a jersey or anything like that. Well, uh, I didn't wear it today. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you played on Late Night with Seth Meyers. Yeah, I did that, twice. That must have been really fun. Yeah, it was fun. It was amazing. The first time I had the chance to win, uh, to flew in New York yeah. to do the show. The band was amazing. And yeah. I did that in last April right. from home. Yeah. Nice, nice. How do you do that from home? Uh, Weird wires and everything and microphones. <laughs> but uh, I have everything. Mike and I okay. have a, yeah. All the audio stuff I have at home and nice. cameras, and uh, it went well. Yeah, very yeah. cool, very cool. Uh, you're endorsed by Sonar, Evans, Fabian, Vic Firth, Drum Dots, Roland, and ProLogic. Exactly. So big shout out to all those companies for helping to provide all mm -hmm. the amazing gear. The drums sound incredible. This is like yeah. one of my favorite Sonar kits. Yeah, it sounds great. It yeah, does. The ProLite, by the way, and the Vintage. So yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah, awesome. And the biggest news. Mm -hmm. is the release of your new book, Smile, <laughs> Smile <laughs> You're Drumming. And, and someone in the chat was saying, it's amazing how you're playing all these complicated patterns, mm -hmm. and you're just smiling while you're doing it. The most, com like, seriously, the, the most mind-bending things. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to dive deeper into some of the concepts in this book in a little bit. And I'm also going to um, show you some of the cool features that Emmanuel's added into it to make... Uh, learning the patterns much, much easier. Mm -hmm. She's broken them down to really nice bite-sized chunks so you could actually feel like you're making progress through a book as opposed to most books, which I know because I've done the studies, most books become shelf help, right? And so yeah. you don't want it to be shelf help. You want it to actually be helping you get better at drums. You want to feel like you're making progress. Um, so with that said, I think, I think before we go into the, the lesson portion, yeah. it'd be cool to get you to play another song. Yeah, sure. Is that okay? The first tune was The Chamber by Antoine Fafard. Yeah. And this next song you're going to be playing is uh, Contravention by ECSM. Is that off of this album as well? Yes. Okay, so this is off this album. Uh, we're going to be filming some more content with Emmanuel as well that's going to live inside of the Drumio members area or the app. And so I highly recommend you get a free trial of Drumio if you want to check that out. It should be coming out in the next few months. Uh, that's available at drumio.com slash trial. Um, so another song, shall we? Sure. I, I feel like I'm just going to get you to play songs the whole time and yeah, we might never okay. get to the lesson. <laughs> I'm here for that. That's perfect. <laughs> okay. Because of Contravention by ECSM.
Just like that. Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. Yeah, you, you have this uh, way of just kind of fluttering around the drums like it's like it, li the, the best word is effortlessly and so yeah. I'm hoping that we can talk a little bit about like not only the the patterns and everything yeah. but how you're actually executing the patterns sure. with with like uh, such a high level of comfort okay I'll give you a copy of this book unless I don't know if you have it over there but um, we're gonna start with the sextuplet routine on yes. page 15 so the first two beat would be, you will start with the right hand. So the first two beat would be like two groups of four. Right. Like, uh, right. like this. And then you will play six to play it, and then you will finish on the fourth beat. So it will be like, like this, okay? okay. There's no accent, it's not like, like right. this, okay? Full stroke. And then you switch from the left hand. Of course you do. And, and you are doing the same thing. So yeah. it's like right, 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 left, 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 like this. Mm. That's much harder than it looks. So going and doing those bursts, left yeah. hand lead. Yeah. And the thing is, uh, I play very high, right. okay, to stretch all of the muscles because they're. Other people, sometimes they are, oh, just, play, just play low, but mm. if you play low, you cannot stretch anything and you cannot get speed. Right. So that's why I say all the time, play higher, especially when it's slow. Mm -hmm. And then you keep it going and going, going. and mm -hmm. more, you are going faster, just bring your stick slower. This is the time. Right. So, and like that, you, you just use the finger control when it's fast. And a tip, mm. I'm not the only one who use that, but I learned that when I was nine years old. Mm. And just try to play on your forearms. Like, hurt yourself. <laughs> Not too hard, okay? But you can put some wristband. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. And, and just try, and you know when you practice like this, on your forearms, you work in the good way of right. the gravity. Right. And if you don't hit, like, the, the, your arm, like, ah, yeah. going like this, it's because it's wrong. Ah, right. okay? Like that, okay? That really helped, this, this thing really helped me with my finger control. Totally. Like probably one of the things, if you, I always held my arms out, mm -hmm. um, just to make sure, I wanted the, the gravity to actually pull the stick down yeah. as well. Yeah. And you can use your wrist too. Yeah. Like that, so. Just like that. It's just, it's just that easy. <laughs> And keep smiling doing that, you know? <laughs> no, but, and, and seriously, yeah, so I will do it like slowly and I will go faster, like. Right. And then you can just go around the kit slowly, okay? And just try to find uh, create your variation around mm. the kit, okay? So you can just play example like this, like. Or you can play like. Or. can start very like just the six to play the movement is just like this like mm -hmm. you know and I yeah. don't use like my arm like that it's just it's like cooking Ooh. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and, like, and this one's a nice one because I like I like how when you're leading with the left, it naturally is a nice way to come back up the drums. Yeah. And I when I, I always use like the paradiddle turnaround yeah. to do that. But yeah. this is a nice way to do that just using singles. Totally. And one important thing, try to hit the center mm. of the head. Because if you hit like close to the rim, you don't get the best sound of right. your tom. You know, yeah. there's a difference between this and yeah. you know. I love it. 
okay. and yes. quickly just mm -hmm. and you can add the kick between that. Let's like that. Uh, just like ta 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 tu tu ta 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 tu tu. Like very slowly. Just I will do it just with my right hand. Like. All right, so we got the single strokes down now. Yeah. So let's move on to double strokes. Now this is on page 16, and you call it a double beat. So what's a double beat mean? It's a double stroke. <laughs> <laughs> cool. It's a good answer. <laughs> I like it. A marketing <laughs> genius. <laughs> it, came from, it came from the drum corps, of course, this right. one. Yeah and, oh. um, yeah, and you know, this is a, a great exercise to develop your double and triplet strokes. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, this one is in 16 notes pulls. You have to keep that in your mind. Yeah. And you know when we play a, a double strokes, it's not about, the, it's again, it's even. Mm. It's not like, it's like, mm. okay. The first time you will play with the right hand and then the second measure with the left hand. Yeah. So it's gonna be like this, like, Do it right. again. So again, you can practice here. Mm. Okay, and you keep it going, and you can do a you can do that around the kit again mm. to practice your double strokes, and and then with this one you will develop like perfectly how to play double strokes like right. four class again, and I can do it under kit if you want. Yes. So, so when you start developing things like this, are you, are you tracking your progress like with a metronome and, and really making sure you're making um, improvements over a specific amount of time? Yeah. Or are you just pushing as fast as you can go every time? Uh, I, I, the, the advice is like always practicing with the click. Yeah. Always, always to make sure I'll, you know, the, you, to make sure you understand where the notes are going. Right. To make sure. So I will play with like, so the, the hi-hat on, on the downbeat, so it will be like, like. And yeah, and when you are comfortable with the speed, just increase the tempo. Always like that. And this right. is the way I practice all the time. I can spend like uh, just 20 minutes on this one. With right. You know, it's uh, to make sure I'm well warm, and yeah, that's it. And now you can do you can do that around the kit too, okay. and make sure your double sounds nice and clean, even mm. like. I use that as a warm up, especially, okay. and and it's a good way to see if your setup is perfect for you, mm. because you know the ergonomy is very important. Yeah. And if my thumb is in Chicago, there doesn't make <laughs> sense. Okay, so I love small movement. Yeah. So like that, it's like I save a lot of energy, and and then with this one, you can add the kick. If it's too like easy or too comfortable, you need a challenge. Just add the kick. The four on the floor with the kick and the mm. hi-hat on the upbeat. So you work on your, your on your coordination mm. at the same time. So example, like do it again and you can do that with a, a samba. Nice. Um, things like this. There's, you, if you play double kick, play the. <laughs> There's so many ways to practice right. this exercise. I bet you you could put the, the bass drum between there too. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it'd be yeah, cool. Yeah, totally. That's what, that's what I love about this kind of stuff. It's like simple concepts that, yeah, you, that, and they're all packaged this way in the book. So yeah. you can learn it, and then if you're out 
you know, riding the bus or doing something, flying on an airplane like you just did for the yeah. first time in a long time. Yeah. Uh, you can just sit there and tap away and actually get better away from the kit. Yeah. So, love it. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Paradiddles and paradiddle diddle. Yes. So, this is one, honestly one of my favorite rudiments. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I was just yeah. talking about this in uh, my, one of my streams I did recently. It's just, the, the paradiddle diddle, it's such a versatile rudiment, mm -hmm. right? And so, um, I love how you broke this one down. I've never seen it done this way before. So, mm -hmm. it's on page 23. Yep. Please, please turn to page 23 in your textbooks. <laughs> The paradiddle para and paradiddles are my favorite rhythms since yeah. I, I, I always challenge myself to increase the tempo, do it mm. fast. I don't know why, it was a personal challenge. And yeah. it's cool because, you know, I, I, I got a lot, of, a lot of questions like how I play paradiddle so fast. And it's because I break down the exercise, I break right. down the rhythms. And when, when you analyze what Shack, uh, shack, it's French. <laughs> <laughs> when you analyze what each hand does, mm. you understand the mechanic. Right. And, and it's more easy to, to play at. So, so kind of deconstruct it. Yes, totally. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I like that. And like this, this one, it's like you play um, you paradiddle the dolls, two paradiddle the dolls in a row, right. followed by a paradiddle. So paradiddle the dole is like right, left, right, right, left, left, mm. right, left, right, right, left, left. You are doing twice. And then a paradiddle, right, left, right, right. And right. then you start again from the left, mm. same thing. The way to practice um, the, the, this exercise, so you will play like this, if I break down the first two bars, like I will play on the snare. Mm -hmm. like. The last bar to be four paradiddles, like uh, the bar number three. Like. Okay. You stop like this. And make sure we hear the accents mm. like clean and the ghost notes and the diddles are very low. And then you can go around the kit again. This is super cool. Like. And then you can go on the cymbals and the kick. Right. Like. I, I see a lot of drummers doing like and people mm. are like, what is doing? It's paradiddle. Yeah. Like. Cool. So and it's just when you, you when you are in control with your hands you can do anything. That's why I wrote this book because it helps, you know, having a great technique and be in control with your rhythms. Uh, it will help you to play freely mm. on the drum set, yeah. you know. Well, drummer I I still hear it even with all of the information we've put out there. Um, drummers say, do I have to learn rudiments? Do I really have to learn boring rudiments? Mm -hmm. It's like, well, good luck playing the drums without rudiments. Yeah. It's like trying to talk without the alphabet. You know, it just doesn't, doesn't work like that. So, yeah. uh, accents and diddles. This is page 36. So, it's, uh, you know, the, the, the chapter 4 is about the accents and diddles mm. and stick control. It's like, it's just the, uh, a way to develop your accents and the way to control your diddles mm. again. Okay? So, it's just to... It's a, it's a routine that I really love. And again, you can orchestrate it on, around the kit. And it's like, it's in 16 notes. There's always a paradiddle somewhere. So, you know, on the fourth beat, there's a oh, paradiddle. Yeah, yeah. So it's like four accents. Uh, is that like, yeah, yeah five. Yeah. yeah, four accents and four accents. You, on the fourth beat, you play a paradiddle. Yeah. So it's like, And then you split in two. So the diddle again, it's very, very tiny. Right. Two inch, one inch if you're able. And you know something it can help? It's I always play with an angle. 
Okay, I'm don't, I never play flat. You're sitting up higher though, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's because I'm small. <laughs> yeah, so I have a... And yeah, the, for real, it's for yeah. this reason. Because the, 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 the thumbs often is too high for me, yeah. especially with a 20-inch kick. Yeah. Yeah, so that's why I sit, I, I sit high, high. But yeah, the snare is low. Mm. Yeah, but I play with an angle to make sure the pressure is at the right place. Right, okay. Okay. So, and then I split in two, so it would be like right, left, left, right, left, left, right, right, left, mm. right, right, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, right. And I do it like twice. Mm. Okay. So the whole thing would be like. And again, do the same thing around the kit, like. that kind of exercise is you will get more you will be more free mm. like to just go around the kit like just like that yeah <laughs> so yeah. What, so that was, that was actually my next question so i love that you just kind of like did that but at what point do you think, like a, a drummer who's practicing this stuff, mm -hmm. at what point is it naturally going to come out in their musical conversation? Because I know a lot of drummers, they practice patterns like this, and they, they, wonder, they wonder why, because they'll go to play at their, their gig or whatever, and they, they're yeah. never using it. Yeah. But uh, for me, I find that the more I practice a pattern, I'll be playing a song or pl playing something, and then all of a sudden I'll just do the pattern mm -hmm. without even thinking about it. Yeah. So are, are you like consciously trying to you know, find a place for this, or is it something that this is just basic practice that you hope will eventually come out in music that you're playing? It's uh, all of that because it's just a way to, how can I say that? It's to develop your vocabulary, mm. okay, to be creative. Mm. And when you play on, on a gig, on a show, all of, you, you will always find a pattern like this in a song, mm. always, or even a double stroke, like just like, a, you know, the, this feel, like, It's like, it's a, it's a double strokes, this is accents, so yeah. like, you know the... It can be a feel too, right. you know, so they, of course it's a kind of a exercise to develop your vocabulary, mm. but of course you can use it in a song after, it's just a way to practice to develop your skills. Right, and I guess a lot, a lot of times when someone would hear that first rhythm, they'd hear da da do 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 they might be thinking, when they hear it, naturally singles. Yeah. And this is a much more efficient way to play Yeah, it, yeah right? because this is, you know, like, for me, I'm not the, the best with singles, okay? So I'm like, I prefer to play doubles mm. and paradiddles because I'm more fluid with that. Right. So, and it's more effortless for me than to play single strokes. Mm. So, yeah, so I developed that kind of stuff. There's, there's a lot of drummers, they play like in singles, but yeah. me, I do it with doubles or uh, paradiddles. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, uh, hybrid rudiments, page oh. 45. <coughs> <laughs> okay, so you know that the blush that is an hybrid rudiment, but yeah. it sounds like a flam drag. Mm. Okay, so th this is, so I, this is a deconstruction of the, the flam drag, you know, mm. and again, when you understand what, what is the mechanic of each hand, it helps for your interpretation, mm. articulation. So again, you know, this one, so a blush that is a, a basically a flam from the left, example. Left, a double from the, the right, like, like. And another tap from the, from the left, mm. so like this. Okay, so it sounds like a flam drag. If I play a flam drag, it sounds like this, like. It's the same sound. So, you just flam from, the drags is always with the, the same hand, and yeah, the drags and the flam mm. from the same hand, so. 
And with the deconstruction. <laughs> I like deconstruction. <laughs> deconstruction. French. Okay. Uh, so it's going to be like this. So the first part will be like in triplet feel again. Like cha ta 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 Like. Second measure, you play the flam on mm. each downbeat. Like flam right left. Flam right left. Right. Okay. So second measure is like. Back to the basic pattern, mm. like. And the last measure, it will be the f the 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 blush da. So. Mm. so you practice that with the click and be patient because it's not natural in the beginning when you practice mm. always a flam from the same side. So. Nice. Yeah, so this is super cool. And you know, the, the flam on drums sounds so cool. Yeah. yeah. So, and on the drums, of course, the flam will be not too tight. You will give it, give him a space a mm -hmm. little bit. Because if it's too tight, it doesn't sound beautiful mm. on a drum set. So, you can just go like the flam, play your right hand, you know, on the, um, on the floor and come back to the snare if you want to try to orchestrate it, like, mm. uh, just for the, f the, the, the blush deck example, so. Okay, and this is cool to apply it, like around the kit with, with the, 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 the the crushing balls and whatever, you know, in a groove it's cool too, like uh It's fun to play, <laughs> yeah, it's super cool. And you can just try, this is another kind of vocabulary, you can practice around the kit and just try the... I love it. I've, I've only ever learned it that way, though, and I've, I only really see it played a lot that way, especially when it's referred to as the blush step. But have you ever learned it the other way as well? Yeah. So drum I know drum chord drummers are like very like they have to learn yeah, things both yeah. ways, right? Yeah, but on the drum set because you know the the f it will sounds better with the left mm. the left hand. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so the flam accent builder. I love the flam accent. So yep. this is page uh, 51. Yeah. Okay, Swiss Army, sorry. Swiss Army triplets, it's always like flam right left, flam right left. So yeah. it, the right hand is doing a double all the right. time. So yeah, I was playing like uh, something else earlier. Sorry for that. So it's always like. So the right hand is doing a double all the time. So like. So the way to practice for um, you know the beginners is always like focus on the right hands doing the same thing all the mm. time. So it would be like So this is super cool to practice, and you can do a, you can do that around the kit too. Like, Thanks. yeah. So and you can analyze that like it's like a double, but you stretch your double. Right. You know, like. A, Stroke always hmm. you are doing with the right hand. I started, I started as a, you know, drum corps drummers, they, I, I think a Klaus Hessler I saw, he like 
cr crushes rudiments or something. And yeah. like, and Dorothea Taylor once told me, um, she said once you, when you play doubles, they are essentially hand to hand flams when yeah. you start crushing them together. I'm exactly. Like, wow, mine is blown. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it's true. And so this stuff is fascinating, and, and we always wonder like, oh, I know singles or I know the Swiss triplet, but mm -hmm. really when you dig into it, yeah. And the more you dig into it, the more depth you realize yes. that it has. Okay, this next song is called Phase One, yes. and it is off of the ECSM album. Is this also available on... Um, on my website, or website? on... It's not on iTunes, uh, Amazon, and... Uh, it is everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere. This one, yes. Awesome. Yes. Okay. Cool. And you will see, and there's a solo in the middle, and I use a lot of rudiments, just mm. like we practice. Okay. So it's a good way to see where I we can put rudiment stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Nice.
so good. Thank you. Wow. Is there anywhere that they also like distribute those play alongs as well, like without drums? Uh, it will come. Yeah, it's yeah. Uh, yeah. You, okay. you just need to press uh, on enter and it will be ready. Yeah. Just press a button and. Uh, yeah, but it, it, with uh, my keyboard player, we have oh, okay. we need to do something, but uh, it's ready. I see. Actually. So you guys yeah. are ready to go. You need to just publish. Yeah. Okay, so we have one more song, and then we're gonna call it quits. I'm gonna jump out for this tune. Um, this song is called "From the Satellite" by Damien Schmidt. Yeah, this crazy drummer and friend. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so. and yeah, it's because uh, Damien asked me a few years ago, like well, ten more than ten years ago, mm. to play with him in his band. He was playing guitar and he was the singer. And when he asked me to be in the band, I was like, "Yeah, sure," but I didn't hear the song. Right. And when I hear the song, I was like, "Uh oh, uh oh." <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> it's one and of those. So he challenged me a lot. Yeah. So uh, my playing changed a lot with him and improved a lot. So I was out of my comfort zone and mm. I learned new stuff. And you will see in the song, there's a lot of paradiddle on two hi hats. Oh, cool. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna play from the satellite from Demi Schmidt. Okay, let me just dump, jump out there and go in the studio and, uh, and uh, we can
Yeah. Well, that's cool. Very, very good. Well done.